Cambridge History of Life with Bob Chamberlain. Hello and welcome to this. I lost everything up properly. Welcome to this to the final show this series. Um, yeah, the third series, and we've reached the final show already. But thank you, thank you for joining me. And we've got a two hour special this week. Uh, so we've got lots of guests coming up, um, coming to chat with us. And I'm going to bring a few of them up in a second. But let's go for a few things first um, for people watching for the very first time. So if you, well, first of all, I'd like to welcome, oh, when it works. I'd like to welcome you to the show. So thank you, thank you for joining me and being here for this series final. And if you'd like to comment and get involved, maybe talk to some of the guests, ask questions, anything you like, you can by going to facebook.com forward slash the Cambridge Historian. Now we've been broadcast on different pages across Facebook, but if you comment on one of those other pages, we can't see what you're commenting. So need to need to go to facebook.com forward slash the Cambridge historian for it to be seen just like bruce has just done and um, when he said here we go let's get his message up where bruce has said good evening fonz chamberlain good evening bruce and also tish saying hi so hi hi to both of you and thank you thank you for tuning in uh so yeah that's how you do it so let's uh I've got some guests planned throughout the show and I'm going to bring a couple of them up now. I'm going to, I'm going to start with, start with Joe. So he's going to be popping up any second. So here, here he is. Hello, Joe. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having me. Okay. Is it first time, first time you've done anything like this. Uh, I've been on radio Cambridge here, but the first time I've done anything like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's, very ambitious <laughs> but it, it's fun it's fun so you, you're from cambridge yourself and how we actually got speaking was because you had a campaign to take the red line back to line yard is yeah, that, yeah that's good is that correct yeah i started the facebook so, um, group uh to reinstate the line in red uh, in the, the line into red line yard we managed to get it out from its um, dungeon where it's kept underneath Lion Yard in a uh, yeah. container for many years. And it's now at the Cambridge University. Yeah, it, it's, at, it's at, that's what I was going to say, it's at the rugby ground. Now, there was a lot of story behind why it disappeared. Some people said it got broke. Some people said it got stolen. Do you, do you know the actual real reasons why it was taken down? Well, one of the stories... I was told was that somebody had actually climbed up onto it and broke the tail off. And yeah. And then obviously when they redeveloped Lion Yard, they decided there wasn't enough room for it and it was, you know, to be put into a container and kept out of the way. 
but there's, yeah, there's, there's yeah. Do, so that's like you're saying. That's one of the. Yeah, there's been there's been a lot of. I think the other other story went about was due to health due to health and safety as well. That if somebody did climb on it and fall off, it's a nice, yeah. not very nice drop. But then again, no. you'd be silly to climb up on it, really. Wouldn't you? Yeah, common sense it thing. It was a health and safety reason why they said that they couldn't reinstate the lion in lion yard. Even if I said, well, could yeah. it be on the ground for like for children to kind of look at? And, but they said there's no room for it, which I struggle to believe still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, totally. No, I know we. But Lion Yard seems to be losing its identity now, doesn't it? It doesn't seem to be Lion Yard anymore. There's less uh, markings to point it to Lion Yard. Like even the gates don't have nothing on them now. Well, that's right, up, yeah. That's, that's all gone. Do you think the identity of Lion Yard is slowly fading away now? I, I think so, yeah. I think, you know, old timers like myself, well, we kind of remember it, but I, I think the younger generation, if you mention Lion Yard, they wouldn't really kind of know what you're talking about, really, unfortunately. D definitely. Definitely. It's, it, it's, it's sad. Um, I got a message from... Um, Bruce actually saying about it. Hang on one sec. I'll bring bring this up for you. Um, Bruce is saying it was for the people of Cambridge. So why is it now on show for the Cambridge University rugby grads and dons? Well, it was either that, or it was going to carry on sitting in in the basement in a container rotting away. They they got it out of the container. They restored it, and it's now yeah. in like public display again, which is one of second best really but it was better than nothing yeah yeah definitely not and totally i can totally understand and becky's saying it was quite high up so when the revelers used to try and climb it drunk on the saturday night it made it dangerous that's even worse climbing drunk isn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i can't imagine yeah certainly never tried that dear oh <laughs> Uh, okay, well, well, I'm going to bring bring my other guests up as well because we're all here now, and I'll introduce you to them and introduce you to them. And, and when when they all pop up, here we go. Let's... Right, okay, we've got Trevor Trevor above me and Jay in the bottom corner. Can you see both of them? Yeah, I can see you, Bond. Yeah. So, <laughs> so hi, hi guys. Hello. I'm alive today. I'm on location. I'm on location today, actually. What you are? Uh, as you can see, I'm in Milton Road. Where about Road. <laughs> I'm Okay. We're I'll, at I'll bring the, up, uh, I'll bring up the Milton the Arms. Show us, show us around a bit. Be, yes, I thought it'd be nice. Ah, <laughs> it's all it, there. We go. It was your birthday. It was your birthday thought, yesterday, wasn't it? Are you yep, still it, partying? It was indeed my birthday. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday oh, for you. you. Uh, <laughs> still partying um, tw uh, yeah 20, 21 again <laughs> yeah no we had a good brilliant, time yesterday. brilliant stuff no good good yeah yeah it was good, a good, good one answer. yesterday and, so, and thanks to everyone who sent me happy birthdays yes it was very nice <laughs> you probably get a few yes. you probably get a few more in the moment at, so we ended up at Histon yesterday to watch football so that's my birthday treat <laughs> for that so very good yeah Lovely. You know, you know, I used to live in Histon. I can imagine it's changed a lot since I've moved away. You said the pub <laughs> has. <laughs> Are we still there? Yeah, can you hear yeah, me? I think can so. Hear me? All right. Okay. Trevor. Yeah, so we had a good time, and uh, we're still carrying on today, actually. We've just been watching the football down here. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask Trevor. Um, he's up there quite, Hang hasn't on. said much. So I say on to him a little bit. Okay, yeah. I can now, yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> yep, go oh, ahead. Can you hear me, Trevor? <laughs> yes, I can, yeah. I like broadcasting. Yep. We <laughs> seem to have... <laughs> On the spot. Seen... Let's get another... Let's can you hear me, another, Trevor? Um, spot, I think. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, you should be I don't right think you can... Here. There we are. I don't think... Can you hear me I... now, Fons? I don't think you can hear me. Have you got right. the sound back? I can hear you. I'm going to get the old cover. Right. right now. I'll take the tape... <laughs> Right, take a couple, take a moment, hang on, 
Right, here we go. Can you hear me okay, Trevor? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. Am I there? Yep. Hi. Hey. Uh, yeah, Hello. I can just about hear you. Um, uh, very delayed, very delayed. So I took the other two guys down for a moment because okay. um, could I get you to refresh your screen? Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Get you. Right, so let's bring, uh, here we go. Ooh, what am I doing? Technology. <laughs> right, sorry about that. He, he was a bit, he was running, he was running, Trevor was running a bit slow. So oh. <laughs> I had to ask him refresh. So ah. Joe was, Joe was talking about um, Lion Yard. Now, of course, yourself, Joe, you, you grew up in Cambridge as well and of course yep. you were saying how it's now moved to the rugby grounds what are your thoughts on that um from the lot uh what the line yard and yeah the line that question? Now, now moved oh the oh the line what are your, oh. what, 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 are you, what are your thoughts that it's moved to where the, the rugby ground and no, not I actually think in the line yard no it should have been put back in the line yard um I mean, apparently, we all know that maybe it was removed because someone fell off it after climbing it. And <laughs> I suppose they looked at that as a um, health and safety issue. But I think with the right sort of planning and the correct positioning of it, that should go back into Lion Yard because, then again, it's the heritage of Lion Yard, isn't it? And Lion Yard is Lion Yard. There's no getting away mm. from it. So, no, it should go back. Yeah. I think it should go back, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Joe, what do you think of the chances of it going back? Never. Is that... Is that well, how it looks? I tried, I, I tried many times with the people that kind of own the uh, Lion Yard Centre now, and they were just adamant that it was a health and safety concern, it couldn't go back. And I I tried various different positions where it could go. Like mm -hmm. I say, I even tried to have it kind of mounted on the ground somewhere. Where, but whatever I tried, yeah. they just would not budge. I even asked them if they could they could have like a wall space where they could have pictures of what the area looked like before the redevelopment. It's like the Lion Hotel. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't that, even that, that. So, so, yeah, no. It's really difficult. Uh, I've, got so, I've got some weird, I've got some, I do, um, <laughs> we've got some weird person making some crazy comments in the background this is live so apparently he's asking is it true that snowy far was the basis for pink floyd <laughs> so, yeah. he's, a, he's uh, a good dart player <laughs> he taught roger waters all he knows uh, oh, oh brilliant. dear bit, 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 of, bit of fun in the background okay trevor can you hear us now Hello. I can hear Hello, you Trevor. fine, yeah. We can, we can just about hear you. Yep, yeah, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, just You're about fine. hear you. I'll move a little closer. No, no, any better? You, see, you seem to be lagging a little bit. What I do is... I keep chatting if... Um, to the other guys at the moment, but you seem to be lagging a little bit. But I will get round to you. Don't don't worry. See if it sorts itself out. So, going back to you, Joe. Um, yeah. What what memories do you have growing up apart from Lion Yard and the Lion and stuff? What strong memories do you have of Cambridge? I like you've I remember some memories. I was funny. I was talking to my wife the other day, and I remember going to the Whim. Which was at oh. the top of Rose Crescent. The yeah, it was like whether it was like it was a bit like the Wimpy, obviously with, with the name, but yeah, it was it was the place where we'd always used to go and meet. So if you had, you had a because I I come from Linton, so we used to travel in on the bus, and that was always the meeting place. We'd always meet at the Wim. Yeah, my my childhood. Same about me. My childhood, and probably Jake and. Can um, connect with this was Bradwell's call. 
Now, the place stunk of wee and it was run down, but you'd get off the bus at Bradwell's Call and <laughs> that's where you'd meet your mates. So it wasn't a great looking place, but it was like fond memories. Do you, do you guys have memories of the Bradwell's Call? I do. I do indeed. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, I think it was uh, when I was about 16, uh, I actually uh, <laughs> I actually experienced my first alcohol there. <laughs> uh, we all went out on the in night Bradwell's there. Cool. And, yeah, in Bradwell's Cool. And uh, yeah, because <laughs> the, the bus, the bus um, station was a bit different then because it wasn't rebuilt. It was the old one where the buses went around. And we used to all get the bus in there and the bus used to go out. I think it was the... The 105 used to be the Arby bus at the time. And, uh, yes, we uh, went partying one night after finishing school and everything and uh, had a bit of a party. After and ended school, up there. right? And that's, that's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> first yeah, time my, yeah, my experience with Bradwell's Court. That was the first time that I actually saw it and actually experienced Bradwell's Court. But uh, they used to have Laser Quest and a lot of things, good things in there, a couple of sports shops, um, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, so it's, it's a shame. In a way, it's one down. Tim, it's shame Tim, got, you know. Tim, yeah. Tim's mentioned Bradwell's Court in the background um, about Bradwell's Court. So cool. That's the one. And news guess. agent to the corner of Bradwell's Court and Drum Street. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I remember all them. Do you remember that? Do you remember? Our, do you guys yeah, remember the old Argos? Argos being down there. Oh, yes. yes. I remember Argos. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I got and also Premier Travel right in the corner. Yeah, yeah opposite had, the news agent. Yeah, yeah Premier right. Travel. What do you what do you what do you remember about it, Joe? Um, well, Bradwell's Court. I remember Laser Quest. They used to been in there several times. Um, yeah, plenty of stuff about where bombs. But um, yeah, it's... mainly I I remember the the, um, the news agent had like a, it was like a bookshop as well. They used to sell yeah, like book, the, book. the bookshop. The bookshop is, uh, I think, it was a bit of a forerunner for the works, and actually, it was a brilliant bookshop. I used to get my books for college, college out there. So it was oh really, yeah. brilliant. But they're they're all gone. And what have we got now? Uh, an alleyway with all shops closed down it. So that's yeah. progress for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's progress. Let's, let's try Trevor. Trevor, can you hear us okay now? He seems to be frozen. Not sure what's happening there with him. Um, I'll take him down for a minute. He seems to completely I'm still here. froze. <laughs> <laughs> so. Somebody fighting at the pub. Um, it's no, it's on the it's on the road outside actually. Um, <laughs> all right, the, yeah, well, I'll do apologize for We can't know. I just thought about like, hang on a minute, hang on. We, we haven't got a five second delay on that, have we? <laughs> no, it's just uh, someone walking no. by. I will, apolo you know, I will, I will apologize, I will apologize for that. For colorful language, but it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't anything to do with us. So, I, I didn't know my I didn't know my smartphone was, was that sensitive, right. We've, I've walked around the back of the park right now, so that should <laughs> yeah, all gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is live. Yeah, yeah. This is live reporting in yeah, a way, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> well, <clears throat> anyway, do oh, carry yeah. on. Yeah. We're, embarrassing. It oh. proves that we're not recorded. Trevor, can you hear us now? Well, Trevor. Hello. Hello. Hello, Trevor. Can you hear me? Ah, oh, brilliant. Hello. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we got. We, yeah, we got people in the background asking where you've gone. <laughs> so you got oh, a little, little, well, little, little group there. Well, you just seems to to the to Jay and Joe. You just seem to be a bit delayed. So it's yeah. that's what seems to be the problem. Is, is I don't it know. Satellite? Yeah, I've got a network cable. Ah, oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Uh, so, what, what you're... What, Over there. We were talking to the place you had. We were talking about Lion Yard. We were talking about Lion Yard and Bradwell's Call. Have you got any memories to share along with Jay and Joe about them? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, Lion Yard. Well, um, yeah. I remember the old line when we used to on licks and things. Before, before it was knocked down. Square. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. Before you've you've actually when you could, you you sent me. I'm going to take Jay and Joe down for a minute because actually you sent me some pictures. So I'll bring you back up in a minute, guys. Um, you sent me some pictures because you have. Uh, you finally got yourself um, a scooter, you were saying to me. And here's, here's a picture of it here. That's right. So let's put it up on the screen. Yeah. So how long how long have you had how long have you yeah. had it? But I've been on holiday for two of those four weeks. Now, um, and it rains. Yeah. So not the best to start, but we yeah. Uh, I came down to Cambridge <laughs> on it this morning and got soaked halfway through. That hey ho, not like. And this is this is you. That this is on. you on 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 your scooter. Went out for a ride on that the hottest day of the year. That couple of three on to the various World War airfield. And we got another picture for another bike here that you said that you've done repair works. Yeah, that was a rough. So you've done the repair bracket. of this. It didn't work, and we've completely restarted. Yeah, that's what sort of got me into the scooter because I got that going, and that's a bit slower. I go a little bit further. So yeah, it's all been yeah built, and now it runs pretty good actually. But it's just a dry bit riding. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. That 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 the pictures. Um, and so yeah. you're reliving your youth. Most people will, mo will, met, will notice the moped because they'll say, oh, my dad had one of them or my mum had one of them. Or it was very popular in his mid-70s. Yeah. Really been my misspent. Oh. Somebody's got a plane going over. <laughs> Um, it's not me. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's an extractor. Um, we, 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 sadly, Trevor, uh, I've got a lot of people saying, and it's not anybody's fault, it seems to be a technical issue. Tin can and some string would be better because sadly you're breaking up. And do you, do you know Dan at all? <laughs> Probably. No. And Tim, no. I, won't, I, I won't put, I won't put what, um, Tim, but uh, it's a family show about uh, and Becky saying, is it too many at once? It's not too many at once. It just seems to be um, a signal thing. But I'll take you back down, Trevor. I'll try and bring you back up a little bit later on, actually. If you stay, come back, go away for five minutes, come I'll back. Do. I'll give you give you a try then. I can't click on the phone. Right, so give him a try then. Right, let's see if we can sort this out. <laughs> right. It, this is the fun of being live. Uh, nothing on this show is planned, this show, because it's a two-hour special um, to round it off. And I've got me, me that, that. two of my guests. Unfortunately, the signal, signal with Trevor's not too great. I'm not sure. Usually, he's been on the show before, and it's been fine. It's been fine with him. So, <laughs> but Tim's, Tim is saying in the background, uh, come on, Trevor, your dial-up is it, slow in the fence. <laughs> Dial up. Oh, that was the days. <laughs> oh dear. So, so, Joe, if you like, yeah. you were saying, um, if you had to, because I don't say no person's view has grown. If you had to describe Cambridge to somebody, and basically from how it was, the description of how it was, not now, like growing up in your childhood, how would you describe it? Wow, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Um, well, childhood, childhood, it was just, it was just a big playground, really. As, as, as like growing up, it was, it was, it was so much like fun to be had, like trying to climb the line, for instance. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a real good question. But I, I, yeah. I, I've got, I've actually got, I've got, I've got a message. 
Austin, so I've got a message for you for Becky. Joe, did you live over Arbury years ago? I did many, many years ago. Briefly. Uh, Becky might know you then. <laughs> Mommy. Becky Hello, might Becky. know. <laughs> and Tim's asking where I got my hat from. Um, Cambridge. It, it came from Cambridge. <laughs> Trevor, can you hear us now? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, brilliant. We can hear you now. We I'm can on hear the, you perfect. I've dumped the laptop and are using my phone. Oh, you should stick with the phone, mate. Stick with the phone. Yep. It's brilliant. But you're called, you're called Trevor Benton too now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but great. <laughs> So, God, um, it's great. It's great to have great to have you all on the show. Um, so, let, let's let's go through some some things. Like, I can imagine you've got to go, haven't you, in a minute, Jay? If you're celebrating your birthday. No, no, I'm here. No, I'm here for yeah. I'm just you know yeah. No, I'm I'm fine. I'm here. Uh, I like to do oh, right, no, 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 no. on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> next to, Becky's next, saying next she to thought she recognised you. Who? I was going to say to Joe, <laughs> Becky thought she recognised you. Well, I've got one of those easy <laughs> recognised once, once met, never well, la <laughs> la Last time I was on the show, someone thought I was on a boat when I was actually in my shed. <laughs> I, was, I liked that. I thought that was yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> we shall be next time. Uh, Tim's oh, saying, have you been on the scrumpy? <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, I've been on the ale because I'm very much of an ale person. Um, so we've been on the, um, well, not the Abbott, the old speckled hen because, you know. But uh, no, this weekend really, really great. Fair. And next, and next weekend, so I've got a further party <laughs> down in London, in Camden. <laughs> That's going to be, be an interesting one. So yeah, so through August, wow. it's all party for me. So I have a birth month. Not a birthday, <laughs> right? But what what what, what I do what I do is I start I start with I'll, so love love you guys to chat interact with your own memories. Um, now we've got Trevor properly, um, we can do that now, um, which was what I was trying to do in the first place, but technology fails us sometimes. Um, but there you go, you have to make do with what you got. So if we're looking at like you were saying, um, just different different perspective from each of you because you've all grown up in the same place you've all been to Cambridge you've all been to these places but something that I've learned over the years um talking to people not everybody's view um perspective is the same so you might know it one way but somebody else knows it a completely different way so it's it's good to hear different people's experiences now mm -hmm. looking at experiences um in Cambridge um Start with you, Trevor. What is the biggest like, impact in your life that's happened in Cambridge that's like you remember? So the biggest thing that you can remember? Um, I suppose my childhood around Burley Street, Fitzroy Street, Brunswick School. Um, we was always out and about with mother um, shopping and going to all sorts of different places, going to the cinema. My mother was an usherette at, um, at the Regal and the Vic. Um, so if there was a film come out, she we'd always go and see a film in the school holidays. So um, yeah. Yeah, I suppose they're, they're my earliest memories of, of, of Cambridge and um, walking around um, um, what is now, I don't know what they call it now, Sturton Street and where the Howard Mallet is. That was a big wreck in those days and uh, walking to school and things like that. So, yeah, that was my earlier memories of, of, of Cambridge. And, of course, you could walk in the middle of the road in those days and not get – Touched by a car. Oh yeah, and actually, mm. they didn't have cars down. Didn't have, we didn't have cars. Right? Didn't have phones. Yeah, didn't have nothing those days. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Tim's saying, Trevor, do you remember rations? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a ration. Yeah. I had a ration book in the nineteen. I think it was nineteen seventy-three for, for petrol. We had to. Yeah. We couldn't. When the fuel strike was on, we had a ration book for that. Um, ration was, was just finished. Was just finishing as I was born, to be fair. But yeah. we still had the overflow of that for many years to come. Really, it's, I mean, a lot of people don't realise that actually went on into the fifties, didn't it? The rationing. Oh yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah, and and the overflow of it because people, you know, it didn't just stop there. It, people 
were still sort of getting back to, to normality and getting meat and, and sweets and things. It was, and didn't have a lot of money to spend on things really in those days. Yeah. No. No, definitely. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll take you down for a second. Now I'm going to ask Joe what, have you had time to think about what his biggest memory <laughs> of Cambridge is? <laughs> I, I, I would say my, my fondest memory is making my poor mother queue up for about six hours to because to watch Jaws in the the old cinema in the Market Square. I can't remember what it was called. Vic Victoria. Yeah, that's it. And we queued up for six yeah. hours with my poor mother in the rain, just so oh. I just so I could go and watch Jaws. But yeah, but did you did you did you make her a nice cup of tea when you got home? Yes, I, well, probably not. I probably went out and played. <laughs> But the thought uh, was always there. Yeah, well, the, it's the fault that counts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, okay. Over to Jay. What is your biggest memory of Cambridge? Oh, he's not got any memories of Cambridge. <laughs> uh, dear. Right. Let's. We'll have a word in a minute. So now they're great memories, and we've got people commenting in Go the on, background. I'll go through some of these comments. Um, Hold on, I've lost yeah. your sound. Just a minute. Trevor, Trevor looks like Roger Daltrey from The Who. Do you know this Tim Blake, Trevor? Never heard of him. <laughs> no, don't know him at all. He, he seems to make lots of comments about you. Mm. Becky's saying about uh, so many. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Uh, they're froze in the background. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to you, Jay, and your biggest memory of Cambridge. Yeah, I'm still here. Um, yeah, I what's, think what's your the most like, memory of Cambridge, memory of Cambridge? Me was going into Eden Lilies with my mother and doing shopping and things there. Eden Lilies, Robert Sales, um, Gordon Foden. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest memory for me was when they pulled down the back of um, where the. Where the uh, the Petty Curry we was, St Tibbs Row, where the original oh, yeah. um, Robert Sales used to be, and then they built the, um, the Grand Arcade there, but also, I remember that, number 10, the office block that went, and of course, John Lewis now has inherited the number 10 Downing Street address, which is probably worth lots of money. <laughs> um, but that's that's what I remember. Probably, I remember probably. The, but, but, yeah, it's, and I, it's I, like... It's like Coronation Street in Cambridge. My my middle son, when he was young, I said, I've got some really good news today for you, because it was just me and him at home. And I said, I've got some really good news for you. Yeah. Um, I'm taking you to Coronation Street. I'm taking you to Coronation Street. And he got really excited, thinking it was Coronation Street in Cambridge um, on TV. It wasn't. It was Coronation Street in Cambridge. <laughs> so he was very disappointed when he got there. Yeah. Oh, my ancestors are so <laughs> yeah. um, can I give a, mess a quick message to Tim uh, you're more than welcome to comment but because we're a family show can you not use the, 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 such strong language in the comments because we try to keep it family based but we do do find your comments important and Felicity saying getting school uniform from Robert Sales the only place you could get it back then I actually I remember getting my school uniform from Robert Sales did, that, did any of you guys no, we got ours from Smarts oh. on Mill Road. Yeah, I think I think my mum got one. Yeah, we, I got I, <laughs> I got mine from Jacobs on St Andrew Street. Jay Jacobs used to be a little shop there, little tailors, and that's where yeah. a lot of the. Uh, uh, there. That's where we used to go. <laughs> that's interesting. That's interesting to see like the difference differences in people, where where you went and got your uniform and bits. So. It's, not everybody, not everybody went to safe, but I had to go to Robert Sales. I used to hate standing and my mum picking stuff that I hated. And like, mm. you've got to have this because it's the school wants you to have. And I had to have a blazer and a tie and all that. And glad those days are long gone. Mm. <laughs> I didn't like it. Thing at, at Barney's yeah. on Mill Road. Barney's, What's yeah. That, Barney's. Oh, Barney's, that's it. Barney's. Yeah. Barney's. Barney's. yeah. Yeah. yeah, not yeah. Bernie's, Barney's. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the place that's famous for catching on fire a lot, isn't it? 
Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, yes. yes. The Vakai did, burn did up there, didn't they? Did any of did you ever, um, Trevor, did you ever go to Barney's? Went to Barney's, we went to City Bargains as well, next to the Kinema. Yeah. Used to be next to the Kinema, which is now all, just, um, all gone. I'm just yeah, going to pause a minute, Ron. Ron. I've just got to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, you, you go right. and we'll chat to you. Hello. It looks like he's still enjoying. He's still enjoying his party. Yeah. <laughs> he's in. He's in. The, he's in the two day. Uh, uh, yeah, the city bargains was next door to the Kinema, which was next door to the Durham Ox, which is all gone now. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Ken, Kinema was a horrible theatre, theater, uh, cinema, anyhow. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they called it. They called it. They called it the flea, flea pit. They could call it the flea pit. You're quite right. Didn't very often go there at all. Yeah. Mother would never go. Mother mother Becky's was calling, always... Becky's calling you a cheap, cheap boat. <laughs> so, um, did you ever go to Barney's, Joe? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mother dragged me in there many times. <laughs> Hopefully when it went on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. No, I, I remember. I remember my mates. Me and my mates going in there. I, I got a few bits, you know, as you do, but they got all like the fake looking Giorgio jumpers and all that from there. That was that was an in thing at the time. Um, Bashley, actually, the the shop name is still above it. It's come. I think some come some because it came to Subway for a little while. I think it's come some kind of restaurant now, and they've still kept the name Barney's above the top. Which is, is it really is interesting? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Rembrose Rem, Rembros was just down the down the street where we used to get all our models from. Rembro's television and model shop. They moved off of East Road. Yeah. That um you had originally as well, Cambridge Resale was down. Oh East yeah. Well. Did you did you any of you two go to No, I never went there. Resale? Don't remember going there really, no. Yeah. Yeah, I used to go to, I to go to quite a lot, just go and have a look and, and see. The, Bought a couple of things from there, sold some yeah, stuff there yeah. as well. Um, Tim, Tim's saying, my mum oh, okay. brought, me, brought me my first pair of Wrangler now. jeans from back. the Barney's and <laughs> this back. new jacket from Showerproof. There you go. Hmm. And Barney's was run by a bloke called Roger, Roger Barney's. <laughs> okay. So there you, go. Oh, there you go. Is there any shop, guys, that you, you that has long gone? You could bring back if you can. It's no longer in Cambridge. So you could bring back. I start you, Trevor. Um, what would I bring back? Well, you had. Um, um, We're on the move now, Fons. We had Thorn Thornhills in North in Burley Street for the buns. We should go there and get buns. And cakes, yeah. and there was a green grocer's next door. If we always just go in there and get the green grocers, but um, you couldn't bring them back. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. You couldn't bring them back. You know, the co-op. I mean, yeah, I, no, worked in, no, I worked in the I worked in the co-op in Burley Street. I mean, that was a that was a, a Warren that, that place. It was um, you know, owned by the same people as owned the Dorothy, and they seemed to have a a, a passion I'm for a bit of the sound and at the moment. Um. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, no, it's I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what you mean, and like you said, you can't bring them back, but we wish we could. Um, yeah. Joe, any place that you'd like to bring back? Yeah, I'd like to bring back the uh, the old coal bingo hall because I used to work in there, and I've got a lot of good memories right. of being in there, and that building's got so much history. Yeah, and it, it, it was. It, I had good fun working in there. Where where was that? Sorry. In the in the coral bingo bingo hall. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah. So not um not an actual um any shop though. I know it's like working uh, every memory. Well, uh, as for shops, I would bring back in Trumpeton. There used to be a, a model shop up in, near. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what it's. it's estate called. agents now. Yes, yeah, estate agents. I used to go in there and buy rockets and balsa wood models and all sorts. So, so that was dumb, I remember. Not there. It was so disappointing. Yeah. But that no, was the co-op. That was a co-op before that was a model shop. 
Ah, see, look, we've got, we got we've made the, the knowledge. So we re okay. we remember it as a model shop, and he remembers it as co-op. As yeah. the co-op. So, yeah. 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 Good. I'm, a, I'm, a lot, that, I'm a lot older than you guys. So you've, you've like, seen the big changes. So how from your childhood, um, I suppose you can remember back Lion Yard. Can you remember? You can remember way back before Lion Yard. You can remember way back before um, yep. the Grafton. Um, yep. And had a first stand. Like, look at them. Like, do you feel that something had to be done to basically improve them? Well, I, don't, I think you can look back and say maybe, maybe not. But I wasn't old enough really to... Um, there was obviously, if you look at the old pictures of them, they were obviously in need of, of modernization yeah. and something. And, you know, that is really the only way is to knock it down. It's the modern world we live in. You know, we didn't have supermarkets yeah. when, when I, the co-op on <laughs> Mill Road, um, that used to be called number one. Uh, that was the first supermarket the co-op had. I'm hoping, it was the first supermarket the in Cambridge. The signal's going to come back in a minute. <laughs> oh, you lost, you actually lost the signal. signal. Yeah. I'm still there. Uh, are you, are you are you there, Jay? Early street. Are you there, Jay? Hello. Looks like he's on a hike. I, I, can, I can hear him talking to himself. <laughs> he's on a hike. Oh, this uh, sounds interesting. Are you there, Jay? Hello, Jay. Obviously oh, not. No, we'll we're, we're put him in the back for a minute. That's so, it. yeah, you were saying, so... But now things are happening again. Things are changing again. Like it's a big development. Um, and like you should look at New Market Road now. That's completely changed to how it was. And different areas of Cambridge are changing. And completely. Look at, that, look, yeah. at the hospital. look at the hospital, how it's growing and Patworth's there now. Now, do you guys think that's a good thing? And well, you know, of course, these yeah. changes are happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, things, that was the world renowned, isn't it? Things can't stay the same because things move on. Yeah. Do you, know, do you feel, though, I, I, I feel, what well, I feel, a lot of people, like you say, they should have never knocked down Lion Yard. They should have never done what they did with um, uh, the Grafton Centre. And I, I agree with you from the perspective that things have to move on. Things have to change. Uh, nothing yep. can stay the same. But what I feel, if it's going to change, people need to um, document it and go around showing what was there and how it's changed, I think. And, and then at least we know what was there beforehand, really. Nobody had these cameras. Changes, in these changes have happened. Nobody had cameras, really. You'd be surprised. Well, not, not in it, the way It was that a luxury back then. Yeah, if you look, if you no, had, if you a had a camera, if you had a camera, you went and took sixteen pictures and then went and had them printed. Um, yeah. Whereas now you'll take three hundred pictures to do the same job, and and you and data storage is so cheap that when you look back, you you'll have lots of memories that we didn't have from then. You know, there was, mm. we didn't have cameras at all. Really. We had a camera. You took it on holiday and you did a reel of eight, and that was your lot. It's so um, much easier you know, to archive things, isn't it? And, and 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 to preserve memories. Whereas, like I say, in the past, it was a lot harder. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, back then you were very selective about what you took a photo of because the cost of film and stuff. But it is much but, easier these days. Um, and it came out rubbish when you sent it to It came out. They came. They came out rubbish when you sent them to True Print. Anyhow. <laughs> They were always discoloured, weren't they? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I'd always, I would always wa worry if True Print kept a few copies itself. <laughs> yeah. um, hmm. Mick Brown saying that fisheries in Petticurie was very smelly. Is that is that correct? Was it very smelly? Yeah, yeah, it was. It, and it had fish um, float. It had a, had a fish tank under the fish counter. I always remember going there with my grandmother. We always went there on a – we went to there, and then we would go to the International, which was on Market Street, and then we'd go to Macintosh's, which like is – right. um, No, I don't know what's there now, but um, next to Rose Crescent. Um, 
Yeah, it, it's been a lot of things. It's been a roll now, shop, now, uh, pasty shop. I don't know what. Now and I'll be wrong. Did you, did you know what it is, Joe? Yes. I know they're putting, I know they're putting the five guys and all okay. that there, aren't they? I'll be switched on to. in a you... Not sure what's happening with Joe there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's I, I think it's going to come. But I see the comment about McFisheries. McFisheries was on Petty Curie, but then it, when they built Line Yard, it was moved into the Line Yard, uh, roughly about where the works is now, because they've opened the works in Line Yard. That must have really stunk in there. Must have been awful. Been dreadful in there, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember it being in Line Yard, but I probably moved away by then. Yeah, no, it was it was definitely in Lion Yard. <laughs> but it's the same like Ali's Ali's was moved into Lion Yard. Of course, Golden Egg. Did do either of you guys remember Golden Egg? No, I don't. Yes. Yeah, I think I do remember that, yeah. It was like a fry up place, wasn't it? Like a Yeah, yeah. And that, that, that was in Lion Yard as well, which must have you got to go around the corner. You got fish around the corner, water around the corner. You got smell of chips. <laughs> what more? What more did you? What more did you need? <laughs> you, were be, you were better off going to the Burnie Inn on Trinity Street and having chicken in a basket. The where? Sorry, Burn, the Burnie oh, Inn on, on yeah. obviously Trinity College. Yeah, I remember Don't that. Know what you mean. Yeah, chicken, chicken chips, and watercress. One place I. Used to yeah, but one place that I um, used to go to, you probably remember it, Joe. Uh, like you were saying, the Wimp, but the Wimpies. No, in Street. Yeah. Did you oh, remember? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're live again now. Yeah, I remember that well. Yeah, yeah. going to come back again. Yeah, quite often. There used to be Burger King as well in the centre of town. Yeah, you came Burger King. I think Burger King. Yeah, I think the link's gone. Oh, oh, right. Right. Did you ever go to the Wimpy, Joe? Oh, I Jay, did you ever go to the Wimpy? Jay, Wimpy, did you go? I think I need to refresh. Yeah, I um, think you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. No. So yeah, I remember um, the Wimpy. It's like one of those treats. Of course, you come off the bus um, in Bradwell's Court cool, and go around to the Wimpy and see Mr. Wimpy. I remember a friend's birthday party. Um, he had Mr. Wimpy there, and we decided to push him down the stairs because they had them upstairs, if I remember right. <laughs> like, so there was a lot of in... there was a lot yeah. of shops in Norfolk Street as well. There that was, all, yeah. That, all, that was all knocked down when they built the new Staffordshire Gardens. There was the towns of the bike shop, which eventually landed up in Burley Street, as did Mason's, the chemist. They all moved off of Norfolk yeah. Street into there. Uh, def um, trying to get we're trying to get Jay back up. Um, give, him, give him a little patrol. It seems to be like one person than another. Um, can you hear us, Jay? Can you hear I us? I can now. Yes, yes, good, yes. Good, good, so good. I had to, I had to uh, ref refresh my phone. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm on actually on the we're on the Arby Road now, <laughs> as you can probably hear. <laughs> you have to show us. You have to show us if you show us around. You have to show us around. Yeah, hold on. Hang on. It should work. Let's get it on there. There we are. I'll get, I'll get you on full screen. So we're live in, we're live in location in Arbury Road. Did you say? That's right, Arbury Road, just by the road. They're doing some road. Yeah, they're putting a whole new cycle yeah. line in, and it's been, uh, it's been going on now for oh, I've forgotten how long. <laughs> Went to all to, uh, all to improve the, the safety of the cyclist. Uh, that in the background is my friend Andy. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Yeah. Right. Um, we've actually got Tim come up about Cambridge Arms, Kings, King Street, Great. Oh, yeah. The odd, the odd bit. Remember so, that. pubs. Um, let's, yeah. Especially Jay, because it's his birthday and he spent a lot of time in pubs. Yeah. Um, go to you, Joe, first. But... Well, what pubs <laughs> have I you been to, Joe? I, I, I do. I do. I do remember the Cambridge Arms. 
I'll, 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 I'll admit it. We'll get Joe to go first. I don't know if you can hear Joe. Uh, let Joe go first and then let him mention where he's... So, the, the Rock of Burley Street? Top of Burley Street? Yeah, you got to Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, carry on. Well, Hello? Can you hear me, Joe? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, the... the the uh, I can't remember what it's called. The, the, the pub at the top end of Birdie Street. Oh, the boat was, race. The boat race. That's it. I mean, yeah. that was a regular. And s someone told me, but I don't know how true it is. But Oasis appeared there when before they were they famous. Did. They did when mm. they were called Rain. They were, they were oh, called I'm Rain. Right, yeah. <laughs> I actually I actually saw. I didn't know who he was then, and I had no idea. I actually saw Liam Gallagher on a train. It was been a complete art. <laughs> but there you go. That sounds that's really, that's really image. Normal. I didn't. I didn't know who he was then. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Apparently, apparently, they did play. Uh, but yeah, course, not as, of course, but down by the right. station, we've got the Flying Pig, which, which is another another great Cambridge pub, which hopefully will remain a great Cambridge pub. Yeah. I'm going to ask Trevor what pubs he's been to. Trevor Pubs in Cambridge. He always used to drink in the White Hart in Sturton Street. Oh, yeah. Which is now the Petersfield, I think. Yeah, yeah. That was in the early 70s in there. That was the first time I got drunk in there when I was an apprentice. Uh, any any other, any, pub, any other pubs over the years? Or is that the um... main one? That was the main one we drew. I used to drink a lot out of the Royal Oak at Barrington, and um, <laughs> the um, we used to go around Barrington and Barton and Cumberton and Toft and drink when I was a teenager around there more than in Cambridge, actually. Yeah, yeah, but no, the Royal Oak's lovely, Barrington, very old. That's the place. I took my wife there on our first date. Did you? Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if you all lose me headphones. I don't know if you remember the Yorkshire Grey in Chester. That's where my mum and dad met back mm. a very long time ago. Bus stop? No? Hmm. All right. So we've got, we got loads of people mentioning them in the background. The Dog and Fez at the King Street Run. Um, what else have we got? The Man on the Moon. Which is Man on the, the weather, blue Moon. The Weather Vane on Pern Road. The what, sorry? The weather vane, which is on oh, the yeah, road. Vane. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm trying to think, the Dewdrop, which is now um, Cambridge Blue, isn't it? We did a, we, you talked about Coronation Street earlier. We renovated a pub. They, the co op bought that. I don't know why they bought that, but we renovated the Alma. <laughs> that was a, yeah. that was a derelict, that was derelict when we moved in there. It was awful. It had all been boarded up. So that would have been about 1969, 1970. And um, they really went to town on that. I see you on. Yeah. There's Tim. Tim saying in the background, my neck of the woods, Barton, Hoops, Covington, Free Horseshoes, uh, Top yep. Red Line, Caxton, uh, X Keys, etc. Bruce over us saying, I have the Yorkshire Grey Green King sign from outside. Aye. Yeah. I bet that's worth a bit. What is it? What is interesting on the A14 roadworks? Is the pub that yeah. was at Swavesey? They've knocked the pub down months and months ago, but the the post is still there that held the board with the name on. And why that didn't get knocked down uh, is anybody's guess. Hmm. It's still amongst all the roadworks that okay. still stands there. I'll we'll see you tomorrow. A, a bit, a bit of, a bit of, a bit of history kept there. Maybe I, who knows what they're going to do with that? Yeah, I don't know, but. Uh, that's something to look at in the future show. Jay, uh, yes, what pubs do you I'm visit here. in Cambridge? What, what pubs do you visit in Cambridge? Well, I used to run pubs, didn't I, if you remember, back in 2005. Yeah. Funny enough, I also had you the Elmer. used Alma. to run a pub. Yeah, I used to have the Elmer back in yeah. uh, 2005 to 2007. Um, and then when Green yeah. King bought that out and we, we had to move out then, um, so we went and had the cross keys. So we went to the little yellow pub. And that was really nice. And then that got sold off as a, yeah. um, a Japanese tapas bar. And then I went, well, funny enough, to manage and uh, uh, sort of do the baby uh, pub sittings. 
um, on, on the boathouse and Prince Regent, uh, and so on and so forth. But I was only in that trade for about five years, and now I've gone Brilliant. back to what I know, which is my music and my electrical. <laughs> so <laughs> that was me. But the armor was very yeah. popular because it had the fish tank with the piranhas in it. And I remember, I remember once opening the door, this, this, this girl who was in there, she was a woman in there, she was there. She's interested. I said, do you want to take a closer look? And I opened the door of the phone box and she thought all the water was going to come out. Um, <laughs> and she was like, ah! And then <laughs> I said, no, I said, there's a tank in there. It's not, they're not going not to come out and eat you. But that was a good pub, that. Really good. Yeah, I, used to do a disco in, I used to do a disco in the print, in a King William on Newmarket Road um, on a Tuesday night. They had strippers on as well, I think, if I remember rightly. Oh, that yes, that's what you went for, wasn't it? You you pretending you were doing a disco. <laughs> I, got, I got paid for it, so it must be all right. <laughs> all right, what I'm going to do is want to um, bring you down good first, Jay. Thanks for being part of the show. It's nearly time. Yeah, sorry, the, sorry the, yeah, sorry, the signal hasn't been that great. Um, but no, I thought we'd try doing something from a, a, a live location. Next time, I should be back in my man cave, which is my shed. And uh, we'll, we'll go over some electrical stuff and see what I've got new and so on and so forth. Brilliant. Brilliant um, stuff. Yeah. And, have, uh, have a good rest of your birthday, little, Jay. I'll speak earlier. to you soon. Oh, lovely. Cheers, everyone. See you soon. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 There you go. That's, that's, that's Jay. Um, right, no, Joe, you haven't... This has been a new experience uh, for you. Um, how would you rate it? Oh, it's been interesting. It's been, it's been. Uh, we've learned a bit about Cambridge this evening. Talk about some good memories. So it's been great. That's good. Any, Happy any last time. little? If you, in, you want to say to people watching about Cambridge and anything in particular? Yeah, bring back the, the lion. Words. <laughs> Let's get the lion back. <laughs> in the bring, bring back the lion. Right. So we should get together and get it back where it, where it should. Be. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Well, I'm on board. I'm on board. So you, you definitely got me there. You got we, me on board. We need, to, we need to get the property people to allow us to have a bit of space to put some photographs up of old Cambridge, just to show what the area was like before the development. That yeah. that's what I'd like to see. But there you go. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Brilliant. No, keep 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 fine. Keep doing it. I'm definitely behind you. Now, thanks for being a part of the show. Yeah, no I'll have you back. Definitely. I'll have you back on at some point. We just a one-to-one -one chat. But thanks. Yeah, thanks good. for joining today. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Cheerio. Brilliant. That's that's Joe. Um, Trevor's Ah, we, we left. We left with Trevor here. So I'll give the final word to you because you didn't get to say much at the beginning. So your, no, your, your, your final thoughts. Well, I spend more time in Cambridge now since I've retired than I've ever done. Um, I, when my parents were alive, I used to have to come down there and go and see them and go back here. But now, I tend, like this morning, I came down to um, meet up with the Cambridge Scooter Club in Fitzroy Street, as they do on a Sunday morning, which is always a nice event. If you like scooters, you want to go down there at 10 o'clock on a Sunday. Um, and, um, yeah, I just like yeah. going and reminiscing. So there, and, there's a day for people's diary. Yeah, every Sunday morning, Cambridge Scooter Club meet down there. With, there's a whole range of from very old Lambrettas and Vespers to right up to you know modern day ones, which is um, which is nice and a good group of lads. All sort of most people went to the same schools together. We're all getting a little bit longer in the tooth these days, but yeah, it's very pleasant. I enjoy going down there. So, uh, so if you're down yeah, there, nice. come and say hello. Yeah, so every, everybody's welcome to come and come and say hello. Have a look. Yeah, they, they all line up just to, just down by the um, check, check the bikes by Greg's. Outside. Yeah, yeah, by Greg's and. Uh, you know, relive the old days of the scooters. So, um, there's some real nice bikes. So, yep. Yeah. And like the like scooters, they're, they're iconic for the 60s, isn't they? Like the mods. Yeah. Yeah, um, mods, yeah. That kind of. Those were the days. Connection. Yeah. Yeah. Was you, was you, was you a mod? Or? I was, yeah, very much so. Yeah, I was going to buy. I was going to buy a scooter off of, off a mate of mine who um, rode around Cambridge on it, and uh, he was going off to university. But a few weeks before he went to university, he came off it and rode it off. So I never did get to buy that. I landed up with a fifty cc moped instead of a Lambretta Ally one hundred and fifty. So, uh, but hey ho, that's life. Yeah, 
we got we got we got brilliant we got brilliant comment for you to finish it off because it says Trevor Benton too um because where you left and come by a different source it sees it as a different yeah. thing yeah. so you say it's Trevor Benton too and Becky's saying is number one in the other room yeah, yeah probably <laughs> yeah probably so, yeah, he's still waiting. To, he's still waiting to come on. Yeah, I've turned that off now. That's rubbish. I said to them, my laptop steam fired. It's a bit old now. Don't very often use it actually. Yeah. Um, this is worth no, better. We, we, got, we, got, we got there. We got there in the end. Yep, we did. Yep. Yeah, you managed because yeah. you've asked yeah, me a food. We, we got there in the end, and 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 thanks. For, and yep. thanks. Nice for, to chat. Thanks, thanks for being a part. Yeah, no, thanks for being part of the show. I think we, we all enjoyed Jay, who yeah. probably had more to drink than what that he's had. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But okay. there, you, there, there you go. It's his birthday, so we can't blame yeah. Thanks for being a part of the show, and I'll talk to you soon, Trevor. Yeah, come down and see us on a Sunday okay. morning. Take care. Yeah, see you later, bye. Oh, he disappeared. But I'll see if I can bring it. He, he disappeared, but um, I'll find out those details for you. and. Uh, sort them out okay well we're coming into the second half of this two hour show uh, a little bit less manic at the moment um, just waiting for some of my second half guests to pop up um, let's have a look um, of course if you want to comment like people have I haven't been able to put all the comments up on the screen because there's been so many comments from you and that's brilliant and thank you for part of this series final and being, uh, being involved in posting so many comments uh, but do keep them coming i'll see what i can get up on the screen as i'm talking and you can do that by going to facebook.com forward slash the cambridge historian that's facebook.com forward slash the cambridge historian um if you want to check out the website you can by going to cambridge historian.co.uk that's cambridge historian.co.uk and we're going to meet the guy very shortly who wrote the theme tune well Put the team theme tune together, like the theme tune, sing the theme tune, that kind of thing. Jason Bruce, and uh, which you heard at the beginning, and which you, you heard at the end. We will we'll hear it at the end, and you can get a copy off his website at jasonbruce.com um, for 99p. That's a bargain, and you can walk around seeing Cambridge Historian live all the time. But I'm going to bring him bring him up now quickly. He's coming up to the broadcast very shortly. Here we go. Hey. Hey, you all right, Jason? Yeah, I'm good. I'm at a gig. I'm just packing up, you know, so uh, just hooked seeing live for you. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, how, did oh. it, how did it go, was it? Yeah, it was lovely, mate. It's been a busy weekend. Yeah. I've had a lot of gigs this weekend, so yeah, a bit full on. A bit full on, <laughs> as usual. How are you? That's always, it's always good to be... It's always... Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm good. Good, good. Having fun doing a live show with <laughs> multiple people on it, which is a challenge in its own, but it makes it fun. And update on Jay. I don't know if you saw Jay. He's celebrating his birthday. He was on just before you. Um, we think he's drunk a little bit too much. And Becky's saying, I think Jay's just walked past my house. I did. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so yeah. yeah I was, uh, he's probably I, stumbled I, past I that. <laughs> <laughs> stumbled Probably past the house. No doubt, so. <laughs> yeah. But the thing, the theme, tell us the story behind the theme. What the, theme tune? On the sh yeah. It's your fault, isn't it? You, you came up, well, yeah. you came up, well, how did we come up with the idea? I can't remember. I just said, all right, did I just say I'll write a theme tune for your, for your show? I can't remember. How did it work out, Bonds? I don't know. I, I think I hint. I think I think I hinted that I would like a thing too. That's right. You hinted, <laughs> and yeah. And I then think you, you gave me all the fuel for the song. You gave yeah. me all the ideas. And then come up with a tune, yeah. recorded it. Yeah. Um I've as you know, I've been busy with life all over the place. So we've not released it officially <laughs> on the iTunes yet, but you you know, you can get on my website. But we'll we'll put it out. So uh, I love the cover anyway. I think you know having you on the cover. It's, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, no, def the definitely. Man, and uh, so yeah, it's well, like the, the, the rules that I told you, what I said to you, if you remember, uh, it, quite a while ago we had that chat. That yeah, it's a few bits I want in here. Fit me in if you can. Pardon? Really mm -hmm. catchy. 
That was my only. Oh, I'm that glad was my you only... liked catchy. Yeah, I'll tell you what, um, Fonz, um, I'm in the pub. They've yeah. got a flipping background music on, so yeah. I'm going to go yeah. outside and uh, try and make sure I don't lose sight of the screen. Is that okay? So go outside. Carry on, my man. It's just that uh, it's noisy. Yeah. Well, I'll put you down. Do you want me to put you down and bring you back up in a little yeah, while? Yeah, we're clear now. We're good and clear we're outside. Oh, no, you're... Like oh. Do I look younger? Yeah, that's fine. No, no so. <laughs> go on, mate. We don't. We, we don't. We don't know. We're going on right. about the tunes. Um... <laughs> Yeah, what are you going to say, Bob? My, my, my other guest, one of my other guests, is in the background, uh, in, enjoying our conversation. I noticed that he's enjoying it. Right. <laughs> I'm coming away from the now. freaking pub. It's just too noisy to hear you. Okay, go on, carry on, buddy. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. No. It's come. It's the the theme. Uh, yeah. Very catchy. So you definitely listen to my voice, and you've made it catchy. Thank and you. I can imagine there's a lot of people going around singing it now. Um, I was singing well, around the house. I had to leave the pub because everybody was singing it. It was a nightmare. Everyone was singing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it, uh, I tell you what, you, you know, with the inspiration of the lyrics that you gave me from the history of Cambridge, you know, um, was with the Beatles and everything else and all that stuff with the Dorothy and um, I don't know. You know, it's like you write yeah. stuff all the time and you can't give up at all, but. Um, that was uh, a really special moment, you know, between us, wasn't it? We just um, don't tell anyone in case they, you know, in case you get embarrassed. But we had a special oh, yeah. moment, didn't we, Fonz? Yeah, we I, I remember. I moment. remember you said. I remember you took your hat off. So <laughs> I remember you sending. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh my god! I didn't think you had any. So that's real hair. I, I, I re... Go on, mate. Go on. No, I, I remember. I remember you sending me the demo of it on acoustic guitar, and that's right. Yeah. Think it, thinking, yeah, this is, this is, on the way to what I want. I really glad and that you liked it. A few little you, tweaks man. and only a few little tweaks. Oh, it wasn't many tweaks, although we just did it and got on with it, didn't we? But uh, uh, yeah, it was. Um, it's, I think it was right for your show. You know, it worked, didn't it? He's still there, mate. I think yeah. We lost. Oh, definitely. It definitely. You, 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 you look yeah, like yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. There. No, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I probably did. did I'm, I'm going to bring my other guest up as well, so we can chat okay. to him, because he's waiting patiently in the background. He's is this the man from Doctor guest. Who? Was this someone else? Is this, you were saying you had someone from Doctor Who today? This could be. This is a Doctor Who man. He's he ringing in my I ear. Him up. He's here. Oh, is it? oh, nice. Hello, is somebody nice. ringing in my ear? Bonds, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back in the park. Something ringing in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Noise in here. Oh. All right. Do you want me to? Still on? Yeah, you're still on. Do you want me to take you down for a bit? Am I still on? Packing away, mate. I'm multitasking. He's... Yeah. Packing away at the gig. Yeah. All right. We'll <laughs> I'll, I'll take you down for a bit. I've been told to be. All right. All right. Want to put me down so, many times. Simon, no thanks. 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 <laughs> thanks for joining us, Simon. <clears throat> Uh, hello. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Uh, uh, I, I got a bit um, wibbly and wobbly earlier because um, I needed to reboot my laptop, but it's all happened this time, yeah. so so that's cool. So, yeah. very good to see everybody. Hello. Uh, like, you've, you've been... Um, I was going to say, um, what kind of things you've been up to? Oh, well, it depends uh, how far we go back. Um, uh, I, would, um, I did, an yeah. episode, did an episode of Doctors, so which was quite exciting. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And that was broadcast in April. Um, I'm in the process yeah. of writing a screenplay. I've got a deadline until uh, September, middle of, so I have to sort of focus on that. Um I've yeah. finished my second volume of my autobiographical anecdotes. My Dalek has another puncture. So that's with Dan Grubb at Fantastic Books Publishing and uh, all on target to be ready for the quote Christmas market and uh, loads of other things, really. Uh, I've had to miss uh, a couple of uh, events recently for various reasons for which I apologise. So if any of your listeners were 
hoping to see me at Fantasticon yeah. uh, this weekend. I apologise, I wasn't able to attend. And likewise, the, I was a uh, Jew at um, Tamworth uh, and uh, the weekend before, and I was unable to get there yeah. either. So apologies all, but if you want to contact me, you can always contact me by my Facebook page. So, yeah, but you're, uh, you're, you're quite good. You're, you're quite good on. You're quite good. I will say that you're quite good on Facebook. You're quick at answering. And if you can do well, something, I, you'll do it. So, <laughs> I, I try to. Sometimes I'm criticised because apparently it looks as if I'm online, where in fact I'm fast asleep. So I don't know why that happens, but uh, only those who are more technically minded than I will be able to give me a, an answer, which I'll have to believe because I'll have no idea what you're talking about. Yes. So, so um, busy as busy um, as always. Be 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 Becky's Be Becky's in the background asking about who you are. Um, yeah. She wants uh, to know who I am. Is, right. Yeah, tell her who you are, what you've done. Give her a hello reminder because I think she probably to, does know. But she's uh, hello to those who don't know who I am. I'm Simon Fisher Becker. I'm best known in Doctor Who land as Dorian Moldavar, a large bald blue black marketeer uh, who actually saves the doctor's life by handing over a vortex yeah. manipulator to harry potter fans i'm the fat friar of hufflepuff house yeah. uh, to puppy love fans i'm tony bazakini uh, and um to those who listen to the hawk chronicles i am uh, tony simon some sort of agent for mi6 has that uh, answered all wow. the questions? And and and, you, and, you've, and you've been in, and you've been in uh, one foot in the grave as well back in the day. Oh my gosh, you are going back a long way. Yes, yeah, yeah. That was about uh, ninety-two, I think. Yes, and those uh, those who are interested yeah. in the whole. Can I just say to Stephen, if you're in the back, refresh, refresh. Now carry on. I was just saying to somebody, one of the guests, to refresh because I can't see him. All ah, right. Um, yes, I'm. Uh, there's an international radio program as such broadcast uh, on the internet. You can get it on iRadio and Apple uh, Podcasts as well, Spreaker and Spotify, and it's called The Hawk Chronicles. I was asked to do one episode as a guest appearance on episode 103, uh, and I'm very lucky and I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, I've recently recorded number 126. So it's all there. Is there any any, any plans like like because Big Finish the uh, audio Doctor Who uh, have yeah. you been approached by them at all? Um, yes, um, uh, Dorium is on their licensing, uh, and um, I went and did uh, a story for the Eleventh Doctor Chronicles. We filmed it last year, and they're out. So if you're Big Finish fans, uh, find the Eleventh Doctor Chronicles. Uh, and uh, Dorham appears in the Light Keepers uh, uh, with the Eleventh Doctor. Yeah. Alas, not Matt Smith, but the equally fantastic uh, Jacob Dubman, who's a brilliant um, uh, impressionist. If, if that doesn't insult him too yeah. much, but he is in the studios. At times, I couldn't believe it wasn't Matt Smith. He also does an excellent David Tennant. Yeah. So there is some there is some great people who personally pass yeah. doctors and you would you wouldn't know. Oh, the, the, the talent the someone. talent out there is quite extraordinary. I must admit, and I I thoroughly enjoy, although it's very weird, uh, talking to. Um, uh, there's many Patrick <laughs> Troutons out there who are very good, very good. Not to mention, of course, yeah. Fraser yeah. Hines, who does a very good Patrick Troughton. Yeah, he's yeah. he's certainly very dedicated to the series, isn't he? He kept going on yes. these years with it. Yeah. Of course, he was in Emmerdale as well, wasn't he? Over he was past. indeed. He was Joe Sugden. Um, I'm trying to think. He was Joe 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 Sugden. Yes. Have, have you ever appeared in a soap yourself? Have you had a chance to be in a soap? Uh, well, people classify doctors as a soap. So, uh, so I did one episode there, and I'm I'm quite. <laughs> yeah, it's a lunchtime soap for those who don't know. Um, and um, I'm very chuffed that uh, uh, 
the episode when it was aired that I was in uh, intrigued uh, the audience and they want a follow-up episode. Whether that happens or not, I have no idea, but that's the wonders of magic of television and the entertainment yeah. industry. That, 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 that's the thing. Some, that's the thing with, um, with programmes. Sometimes you can do a one-off or it can be a continuing or you, you, sometimes you're meant to be a one-off, but it comes that popular that they bring you back. So well, Dorian is a perfect example. Yeah, Dorian's a perfect example of that. He was only originally one scene in one episode. And uh, lo, according to IMDb, I've done four episodes. So yeah. that's fantastic. And, he, and he, got, he got the final word of the series, wasn't it, as well? Yeah, the series six, yes. The 50th anniversary. Yeah. yeah, no, that was very good indeed. Thoroughly that's enjoyed. very... If, a bit yeah. nerve-wracking, of course. Very, very iconic. Yes. Yes, uh, somebody sent me um, but, a screenshot uh, of some highlight, table. Highlight, highlight of your career. Doing, uh, doing uh, well, uh, somebody sent me a screenshot of some uh, one of these um, chart things. And apparently uh, uh, Dorian's yeah. iconic line is number five. So uh, most iconic line in Doctor Who. That was quite, that was quite something I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Oh, it's Stephen Healy. Hello, yeah, no, Stephen. He is saying Doctor Who. Yeah. 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 Hi, Stephen. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. No problem at all. Hello, Fonz. Hello, Simon. Nice to meet you. You're very, very pleased to see you. Hi. Right. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How did you uh, first get involved in acting? How? Yeah. Well, I, I suppose uh, uh, at school, um, I was more interested in music. But uh, mm -hmm. one year in 1977, I think it was, uh, came back from summer holidays and the head of music said that uh, the music department and the drama department were going to get together and do a production of Oliver. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, my little fat friend, will be, will be, no, no choice given, uh, will be Mr Bumble. Uh, and I have to say, I, I was very worried about it first until I started rehearsals and I found some things I could do very well and other things I had to work with. And I will accept I've got a sort of a, um, got the bug there, but I didn't seriously, really seriously uh, consider becoming a professional actor until I was made redundant from the civil service in 1985. Uh -huh. So that's, and how did I get into it? I auditioned for three drama colleges. Two offered me a place, and I did oh, wow. a one-year course. Uh, and after that, it was just a case of writing off for jobs and seeing what happens. And there was a long period of soul-destroying um, missives, because when I started out, there was no internet. You had to do everything by, by post. Yeah. So I wrote off to jobs with uh, a decent uh, 10 by 8 photograph with my CV and a stamped addressed envelope, none of which came back half the time. <laughs> so, uh, and, um, uh, so that was, uh, uh, but gradually, it is slowly, um, uh, suddenly out the blue, or you get a letter to say, thank you very much, or a phone call, uh, can you come along um, for a chat? Uh -huh. Nine out of ten of my, quote, auditions when I first started out were chats. And there'd only be, they you know, uh, actors would write in and the producers and directors would choose uh, uh, five or six people to see. And, um, uh, and you went along for a chat. And occasionally you were asked to read. But uh -huh. generally speaking, it simply was uh, a chat. Um, um, uh, and then yeah, I either got the job or I didn't. And I was very lucky. I was very lucky when I started out there. But about one in four you know, uh, jobs I went for, I got. That's and good. then that's been that's awesome. um, uh, um, so. Uh, so that's how I started, really. Uh, what, what more would you like to know? I don't. I just, I'm, yeah, I'm I don't just know. a guest like yourself. So to fun. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Asked, 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 asked away. I was going to, I was going to say, um, uh, Simon. Um, yeah. How did you 
get the call for Doctor Who and Harry Potter? Did they? How did they? Well, they, they were they they were um, ten years apart. I have to say, um, uh, Doctor yeah. uh, uh, Harry Potter was in the year two thousand, and Doctor Who was uh, two thousand and ten. Uh, and in both cases, it was simply a phone call to say you got an audition tomorrow. Uh, and uh, yeah. so, I, uh, for for the Fat Fry of Hufflepuff House, I was very lucky because there were twenty people seen initially, and then the second time there was thirteen, uh, and then the wow. third time there was seven, and then on the fourth time there was three. Uh, so when I got the call to say I got the job, it was a bit of a, well, about bloody time, rather than <laughs> the jumping up and down. Uh, but it was a marvellous experience. Now, likewise with Doctor Who, I just got a phone call to say, and it must have been again about two or three o'clock in the afternoon, to say you got an audition tomorrow morning around 10 or 11. Uh, and uh, they gave me a, a little script to, yeah. quote, prepare. And when they say prepare, they mean learn. And um, yeah. and I went in, and there were seven of us yeah. that they were looking at, and I was the chosen one. Oh, it's gone very quiet. We must. It's have... gone very quiet. I just want to say hello. Well, yeah, no, you know, no, you're, just, you're still there. It just went quiet for a moment. Um, no, uh, what's this? Did they tell you from the beginning that you might be blue? Yes, because uh, in the. Uh, instructions and description of the piece I had to audition, which was effectively the scene I did with Alex Kingston. It, it just said, uh, Dorian, large blue man, think Sydney Green Street. <laughs> there we go. That's uh, it, that, which was lovely. So any writers listening that's... in, that for actors, a simple uh, instruction uh, that is concise and to the point, uh, is so wonderful uh, because it says it all. I uh, I'm a big fan of Casablanca. Sydney Green Street was another large actor, mm. uh, and I knew and I'd followed him in, yeah. uh, uh, with other films as well. So I knew who he was. So I wasn't going to do an impersonation, but I did know his stillness, and that's what I tried to do. Being large, you see, if you yeah. move a lot, uh, it, it looks exaggerated on screen. So if you're still, that helps give you gravitas, which is what Dora needed. So Stephen, tell me a bit did more you, about did you. you to... uh, about me, I'm uh, into live video on Facebook, and that's how Fonz yes. and I met. Uh, yeah. We're actually broadcasting on BeLive.tv today, which is a system yeah. that we're actually using. Started out in October 16. Yes. And I've been with it since day one. And uh, I work for BeLive, and I thoroughly enjoy going live on Facebook Monday through Friday, meeting new people every time. And Fonz and I have a show together every Tuesday at 2 o'clock, which is called I Live Here. Yeah. And uh, we go out and about and show places that we live in and that we love and it's a community show people join in they send us in photographs they come in on camera we've visited places in the uk and we're heading around the globe if we can mm, excellent excellent I, I i know cambridge uh and i know around uh, i have a a cousin who lives in ely uh-huh uh, and uh, what else can I say? And I and I personally currently live in Stafford, in the Midlands, in the Midlands. about two and a half bar, hour, hours away by car, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was in Stratford and Avon for uh, for about twelve years, and it is a beautiful right. part of the world. Yes, uh, to be based. Yeah, excellent. Uh, what did what? what what we're going to say is this is actually the format that we're using, which is Studio One. This is my final show using that because there's a brand mm. new system, isn't there, Stephen, coming out and but it's out and it's much better. So when we come back with a full series, because it's the last of the third series, you actually, Simon, when I asked you to come back, you were on the very first episode that I did, if you can remember. Oh my gosh! Right back. I didn't. I did. I didn't realize it was the first episode. 
Uh, but uh, so you, yeah, you so were, you're, you, you're on the very first, you're on the very first, you're on the very first episode using this software. So I thought right. I'd ask you to come back on for the very last episode. Oh well, that's well. very nice. So we're have I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to come. I'll have to be in the first episode of the new system. See how it works. Yeah, <laughs> You oh, need continuity you're, you're after always, all. You're, you're always welcome. Yeah. <laughs> um, Becky's saying, is this the last show, Fonz? Not forever, only for this series. It's, as Tom Baker said, it's the end, but the moment's been prepared for. Uh, big changes. It's just the end of using this layout. Uh, can you, Stephen, can you tell us a little bit about what Studio 2 is like so what people can expect that's going to be better? Right. For uh, Studio 2 has been written from scratch. It's designed for people to go live on Facebook, for people on screen, share images, share videos, and uh, also it's in high definition, which we've never had before because high definition video, where the video quality is darn good and you can just pop it over to YouTube. Uh, it's a game changer and uh, it's a very stable system and it's fun to use and it's faster than uh, version one and you can play videos, uh, you can play mp3s, you can do a whole range of things and it simply works. And in fact, I said to the team at Be Live on Friday that uh, this is brilliant. It really is. Well, Studio 2 is brilliant. This is version one we're on at the moment. Um, but it's the, probably the best, quite probably, and with apologies yeah. to Heineken, it's quite probably the best live video system that can go to Facebook at the moment. No, definitely. So two PM, been... It's 2 p.m. on Tuesdays. Yep. Two, two, it is. Yeah. yeah, so it's Tuesday afternoon. Okay. All right. I, I will help promote I'll, that. I'll, 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 send, I'll send you the link along, Simon, yeah. so you can never... Yes, you know, <clears throat> tune in. And Becky's Becky's saying you're a big Doctor Who fan, aren't you, Fonz? Um, yeah, yeah, could say that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, yeah, I uh, yeah, I was so, talking, so, I was talking to somebody this week. It was his fortieth birthday, uh, and I did a live uh, Skype thing. He didn't know I was going to be up on the screen at his birthday party. And he found he couldn't talk. <laughs> I, the effect I have on people, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I know what it's like. I mean, I personally don't consider myself uh, any special from anybody else, something special from anybody else. But um, I do know that some people get quite nervous when they're with me. But being large, they probably think I won't stop and yeah, I'll no, just no. crush them against the wall. But, uh, but there we go. But it was—it's really great. No, I think I think I think out of no, I think that you you like you're saying a lot of celebrities and people are involved in big big time programs and stuff. Like you've been in the big film Harry Potter. Some people unfortunately they go to their head, don't they? But just like you're saying, you nailed it spot on. At the end of the day, we're all the same. Uh, uh, the from my personal experience, it's actually people's perception of me changes mm -hmm. it's really strange yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, many years ago i was fortunate enough to be in a play in the west end right? uh, at the strand theater uh, near charing cross and uh, it's now called the novello but i was there and at the same time i was asked or offered to do a couple of corporate videos and what was amazing was because uh, my agent was able to say, well, you can have him during the day, but he is currently in the West End. Suddenly, everything yes. changed. Yes. Cars were provided. Uh -huh. Extra time was provided at the end of the shoot schedule uh -huh. so I could get back. Uh, but, of course, as soon as, the, as soon as the play finished, I had to get to all these venues and everything by myself, you know. No courtesies at all. But it is, again, how people think. And uh, when it was announced that I was going to appear in uh, Harry Potter, again, a lot of people started looking at me differently. And likewise with Doctor Who. Whereas in reality, I'm the same person, the same actor, the same me. It's just really more how people perceive me 
rather than letting me be myself. You know, but uh, but I would also I say, what they see, what they see. Well, uh, I, I was going to say what what they see is the connection to the the, the product, don't they? And like, that's, yes. oh, that's a massive product, and yeah. Uh, but I've, the, got, I've got a good question. I've got a good question in the back. I've, I've got a good question in the background for you. Becky's yeah. asking, "How did they paint you blue?" Oh, it was actually straightforward. They shaved my head. Uh, so Stephen Moffat asked if I would mind having my head shaved. Uh, he explained that with HD, a skull cap tends to look like a skull cap, and uh, so they also shaved my head. Yeah. Uh, and then they put a barrier cream on, and then the paint they used was ordinary body paint that was water-based. And whatever it was, it was number 37 on the bottle. The, the paint came... Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Did it? I can imagine it went everywhere at the end of, end of this shoot, if it's water-based. Yeah. Well, it was all right. It was easy to get <laughs> off. It was easy to get off. That's the main purpose of it, really. No, that, that's that's the main thing. Stephen, did you did you see the episodes of Simon in Doctor Who? No, I've got to say I, I'm going to have to backtrack and, and watch them. I'm afraid I didn't. I haven't seen every single episode. You're intrigued. Of Doctor you're intrigued Who. now. Yeah. Can you check the messages, Fonz, please? Yeah. Yeah. I'll explain why got... afterwards. So, hang on one sec. What the. I have to do it in a sec because they're frozen my end. All oh, right, okay. Um, so I can't, they've just gone completely frozen. Oh, here we go. There we go. It's one from Tish. I did put it up on the screen. Oh, um, sorry, I meant the host chat. The host chat. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Actually, we've, Tish is we've saying. We've got a, you... we've got a, Simon, we've got a back channel, uh, which you'll find the bottom left of your screen. And if we want to say anything to the host, without everybody in the world knowing, then we can just type in the text. It's what I've got as team chat. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. 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 That's it. But yeah, I, 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 saw, it. I saw your, <laughs> I saw your, mess, I saw your message come up there uh, a few minutes ago. So. Right. Okay. I can't, I can't well, see that, it. I'll keep I, trying. I, 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 shall I read it to you? Uh, or it would be brilliant if yeah, you could read it, Simon. Yes. Well, it, it just says, can you drop me down for a couple of minutes, Fonz? Thank you very much. Okay. All right. I'll be back shortly. Thank you, Simon. That was brilliant. Wow. Okay. I think he's dropped himself down. Hey, are we still there? Bishop Echo calling Earth, calling Fonz at Earth at the UK island known as Britain, in a place called Cambridge. Can you please make contact with me again? Well, if anybody's listening to you, I better sort of give you some ideas of what's going on uh, with me. Uh, well, as I've said, my uh, second uh, book, My Dalek Has Another Puncture, is with my, uh, it's with my publishers. Fantastic Books Publishing, and uh, it will be out in time for Christmas. I can't. Uh, yeah. Hello. I can't hear you now. That's the problem. You, um, you I've, can't lost, hear. I've lost my sound completely. Oh. So for those for those of you, if I can, if, if I could get you to chat, Steve, um, if I could get you to chat for five minutes, uh, Simon, let me just refresh and I'll come back. Is that all right? Yeah, no, I'm going to carry on chatting. I'm okay. Because I, I can't hear anything you're saying. I'll be back in. I'll be back okay. in five. Back in five. Okay. All right. Well, it's wonderful technology when it works, and of course, as we know, it very often doesn't work. Uh, which brings me to mind this idea that uh, they're going to start chipping us, so that. Uh, we can have a chip in our hand. Uh, and so all we'll need to do is go like that and we'll buy something, you know, or the chip in your hand will tell everybody your blood group, whether you've got high cholesterol, low cholesterol or anything really. But uh, it's okay if the information it gives out is accurate. 
Uh, and so my concerns is exactly that. I, in principle, the idea of making having something that will make life easier for us, in vertical covers is, uh, is wonderful. But if it all goes wrong and you can't get it corrected, then uh, um, that's going to be a major issue, is it not? I mean, how many of us have received an electric bill that's 10 times what it normally should be? And it seems to take at least a year to sort it out. And of course, if they start putting a chip in your hand, they're going to say, well, the chip's wrong. Uh, it'll be the next level of computer say no. <laughs> uh, now, um, uh, Fantastic Books uh, Publishing have uh, published a, uh, an anthology, I think is the best term, of it, and it's called The Forge, Fire on Ice, and uh, several authors, uh, including... Uh, Dan Stainforth and Emily Wooten and uh, Danuta Rea have written some short stories uh, in a uh, dystopian style, shall we say. And um, all the money's from it go to charity. So do look for that as well on Fantastic Books Publishing Store, where everything can be found and you carry on. And... Um, well, uh, I'm associated with uh, fantasy and sci-fi, uh, and I enjoy them all. Uh, I have to thank my sister, really, to get me um, hooked on to Star Trek. Uh, but I'm uh, Philip uh, K. Dick and Arthur C. Clarke and Asimov is really the, the sort of uh, sci-fi that I like. But uh, I'm open to any other forms of sci-fi. The most important things of which I think is uh, you could say that some sci-fi stories, if not all, are actually uh, predictive. They're telling us what's going to happen in the future. After all, Captain Kirk on Star Trek uh, had the first flip phone, did he not? And I'm talking to you now by looking at a screen on my computer uh, is that not what Captain Kirk had on the front of the US Enterprise as he looked out? We could have things put up on the screen. And we all have it now. And some people even have a video phone so they can stare at whoever is uh, whoever, uh, 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 is uh, knocking or ringing the bell at their door. So uh, that's what the importance of uh, sci-fi is. And our full jewel back, back. term was excellent. Hello, Fonz, you're back. Yeah, yeah, I hope, yeah, sorry, sorry about you that. I hope you didn't lose any listeners whilst I was dribbling. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 I really appreciate, appreciate you doing, doing that. that. Okay. No, that's fine. It's, it's, the whole, the whole thing, thing decided, decided to crash. To crash my my oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I had something similar at the beginning. That's why I sent your message to say I'll be with you, but I'm having to reboot. Yeah, uh, yeah. And you, no, are, you are back. You are back. But on the screen, you're a bit fuzzy. Yeah, yeah, that's all it does. This is, this is you, you can, can see, see now, now while we're moving from, from Studio, Studio one, 1 to Studio 2, two because, because Studio, Studio 1 can't, can't is it's older than Studio, Studio 2, it can't yeah. hold yes. itself anymore. You're, you're looking like a Monet. <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit, bit of artwork. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I see, see that, um, you've been, you've been chatting, chatting about a lot of comments coming through about Star Trek. Star Trek. Well, I was I was talking about sci-fi in general, uh, yeah. so it was it, it was nice that uh, people were hearing me. Somebody's saying Trish is saying Echo. Does that mean anything to well, you, you, Fonz? You, I've, I've got, got an Echo. Um, yeah. but, uh, we've got messages. Uh, let's have a look. Becky put this, and and, and will, will the body, body reject, reject chip, chip, or the chip, or the chip, chip just, just be before, before Big, Big Brother, Brother following, following you? Oh, well, that's all to be investigated and discovered, is it not? Uh, and it's interesting, Big Brother comes from George Orwell, is it not, from 1984. So how was he in 1948, I think, is when he wrote 1984, because I think he just that's turned right, them up. Yeah. So. 
And so he was able to predict in 1948 a lot of what we've got, and Big Brother. And ironically, not only have we got cameras everywhere and uh, microphones yeah, everywhere, yeah. picking up everything, but we've even got a television programme called Big Brother where we're all looking in. How bizarre. Yep, yep. Yep, it is. Yep, yeah, yeah. It seems to like, like he sort of... He sort of no, no. It's a bit like, it's a bit um, like um, Da Vinci. Da Vinci, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't well, I think I think certain uh, certain people, philosophers and things, they spend their time thinking, "What if? What would the next yeah, stage yeah. be?" And if you take, I mean, if you try and take things to the nth degree, uh, a lot of it could be extremely positive. So, for example. Yeah. Um, uh, H.G. Wells, War of the Worlds. Well, I hope we don't have a war with the worlds out there, but uh, at least he's talking about space travel. And that's way back in yeah, the yeah. 1800s. Uh, there's and, Jules and, 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 Verne. And, 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 yeah. H.G. Wells. Yeah. Craig Doctor, Doctor Who before Doctor Who was Doctor Who. The yeah. time machine. Oh, yes. Uh, and there's, oh, I've forgotten his name, Doctor... Doctor... Oh. I can't remember. I think it begins with S. There's another writer, Doctor. Oh. I can't remember. But he, you know, he had time travel. He had um, um, transporting from one place to another. Long that's, that's way, in the, way in the 40s and 50s. So people have been thinking yeah, about when, it. What did they, they say? say um, you know, I, I mean, all, all this conspiracy, conspiracy stuff as well. well. It really, really interests me. me. Um, um, they're saying like chips, uh, they're like, like you chip your dog, dog or your cat. Uh, yeah. In the future, human, humans will be chipped and you won't just well, have money, identity, identity, nothing, because he just holds your arm up. And well, that's exactly what, you didn't hear it, but that's exactly what I was talking about, and that was the reference to the chips uh, earlier. Yeah. Uh, I, yes, I was saying that, uh, and what I was saying was, uh, like a lot of things, in principle, I, I don't, Really object to the idea of having something that make life easier, but uh, it's when things go wrong. For example, the information in the chip, because yeah. you know you know now if something goes wrong, like a utility bill, you query it, uh, or even those with credit cards who are querying things. It's very difficult to get things reversed, and it's only the threat of you saying, well, if you don't sort it out, I'll leave you. But actually, yeah, but, the thing, but, if you, but if you've got a chip in your hand, you've got no control over that at all. And then, of course, the conspiratorials will come in, but will that chip actually then start controlling us? You yeah. can see that one coming along. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The other yeah. thing is, though, in the future, if that's true, you can have a lot of people walking around with one hand missing because people are going to cut them off to use that. <laughs> yes. Well, there's that. And that that will be taking us back in time, won't it? You know, lots of people had to. It used to be they cut your finger off for a piece of jewelry. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. We mustn't think about these no, things it's, too much. It's all it's, it's it's all interesting stuff. Now looking at TV shows, like I did have a comment back. Um, off, yeah. Back at it. Um, uh, I think it was from Becky saying, "What memories do you have of visiting Cambridge?" What memories do I have? Of visiting Cambridge. Uh, visiting, uh, uh, well, seeing iconic images that I've in the past and when I was younger only saw in film or in books. It's always fascinating. That's that's the beauty of the travel I get to do as well. Now, uh, it is you have to pinch yourself and um, and uh, and see things. The Ponte Vecchio uh, Bridge uh, in Florence, for example, you have to see it in real life to appreciate it. But uh, in Cambridge, it's the the college, the law courts, some of the parks, just just wonderful. But on the other side of the coin, there's the downside of Cambridge as well, which doesn't get there publicised so much. Uh, all the good things get all the photographs, but all the less good things right. uh, are, um, really, really are overlooked. Um, yeah, everybody sees Cambridge as the the place where college and yeah. all the universities but yeah. like you said there is another side of cambridge as well and it, the it has to it has to be 
uh, it has to be anything that's got something marvelous and brilliant then the counter of that is that it's not so marvelous and it's not so brilliant it's just part of yin and yang is it not or am i am i wrong in that thinking no, no, i mean it's without like without it's like the, yeah without becoming too political there is only so much money in the pot so if there's some people who've got lots and lots of money then it means other people have less it's yeah as simple as that because there is only so much and that's uh, that's absolutely and i emphasize not meant as a political statement it's actually a statement of fact yeah 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 in, I, in your lifetime ch changes in yes places. yeah um, well funny enough funny enough i had a conversation with uh, my eldest nephew uh, uh, last week he's 31 and in his lifetime, he was saying the changes he's seen. So I'm I'm 58 at the end of this year. So you can imagine the sort of changes I've seen. My my uh, one of my very first administrative jobs. Uh, there was a I worked in the civil service, and we had what's called a typing pool. Now there's only a certain number of people of a certain age group who will know what I mean. But generally speaking, we wrote we wrote thin messages and drafted letters by hand on pieces of paper, and you put them in a tray. That tray then went down to a room that had a number of uh, typists who would then type it up, and it would get back to me so I could sign it, uh, and then it went to the post. So that's why at times it took forever to get a simple answer from somebody in the civil service. There were no... There were no uh, laptops, uh, no PCs, uh, no mobile phones, no internet. And uh, I mean, uh, people are under the age of 25 now. The the idea that there's no internet and they're passing out. They don't know what to I do. Know, when, 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 when my, my, my kids, kids uh, when they said to me, what did I like? I said today, I remember a time before the internet. And I said to my kids, and they go, that's not possible. What did you do? How did you find stuff out? I go, well, we went to the library. We got went to the library, yes. Read a, read a book. And read a book, yes. It's. A, I mean, it is, uh, I, you can't mock them too much because it's what they've been born into. But it is quite worrying, though. It is quite worrying. But don't, um, don't, don't you feel yourself, both for you, yourself, do you find that actually now we have the internet, do you? You can't live that. My internet, uh, they've been doing some repairs just recently and it's gone down. Okay, the internet's gone down. I'll have to do stuff. I can't do that because I need the internet to do that. Well, oh, no, what I, what I will agree with is that because of the internet, because of, um, uh, because so much is done, you know, even sending emails nowadays, uh, there are fewer phone calls. And I think, I, I think a simple phone call would solve having to send 10 or 12 emails because an email could be misread because yeah, part I, of, I, I, you I, know, part of, happen. yeah, part of communication of, of course is our speech. Uh, and it's the tone of our voice, uh, you know, and, uh, the, well, the, you, you, you've, got a, you've got a situation where it's the mood of the person sending the email and the mood of the person receiving it. And if they're in a mismatch, yes. then one person sending it reads it one way and the person receiving it is in a bad mood and reads it another way. Whereas you say a telephone call, uh, uh, you can both yeah. be on the same page. Yeah, but um, also there is the generation that wants instant all the time. And uh, the number of uh, people I've known who've fallen out with each other because somebody hasn't responded to some message within three seconds. Uh, it is ludicrous. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. ludicrous. Uh, I've, had, I've, had somebody, I've had somebody send me a message about Cambridge. And oh. I was actually out and I had no signal. I had no signal on my phone. The signal was in a, basically no man's land. land. And, and it was lucky for two hours. hours. When, 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 I, 
uh, actually she got some signal, these messages pop through like crazy. crazy. And they spoke, can you tell me about this? And then by the end of the video, I'll ask you again. I only asked you a question, why don't you answer me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you only said it two hours ago, and I've been at those signals for two hours. So yeah, there is, there is kind of people that now the technology is there, think that you've got it stuck with you all the time and you can answer it straight away. Yeah. Because I don't, you know, there's all this talk about not being able to use your mobile phone when driving, which, of course, to people of our age, makes total sense. Right? Mm -hmm. um, if somebody sends me a text message and I haven't responded immediately, by the time I get to my destination and I look at my phone, they've asked a question and then they put a series of question marks, about 27 of them. And then when I phone them, I get an earful where, you know, and I say, well, I've been driving. <laughs> you know, and yeah. the nature of my work, it is not unknown for me to drive for three hours. And to be honest, it's absolute relief from the boat because we're all controlled by alarms and pings and, and goodness knows what other sounds. It's just a delight just to get in the car and drive for three hours. You know, but uh, there Steve, you go. Am I, am, I echo, am I echoing to you? Uh, yes. Well, not. Well, I'm in the studio now, and I've switched off the live, but there is an echo there somewhere. Well, I'm not hearing it. To, to let you know, I'm not hearing an echo. I, that, right. Just to throw that into the ointment. <laughs> <laughs> some people are, but, some people aren't. Yeah. I mean, what what with the messaging now, we've been trained that you send a message, wait for a reply, send a message, wait for a reply. And when the reply doesn't come, as you say, quickly enough, then it's, it, we get a reaction which we shouldn't be getting. We should be civil to each other. And um, it speeds things up. And if we're not in the right place at the right time, it causes chaos when it needn't do. Um, but that's all part we're of back. being around today. Yeah, but back in the day, you'd have to post. Do you think the effort you had to to contact somebody, post a letter before a phone box, you have to post and you, you have to wait. wait week and a half for the reply and remember times when your home didn't actually have a telephone yeah, you had to um, go down to a box at the end of the road i wish can you I, I i don't know how my forebears managed it because they'd say i'll be at the phone box at six well we all know that life gets in the way and the other person might not yeah. be able to get to their phone uh you know, their phone box yeah. because somebody else is already <laughs> there yeah, you know, I mean, it's somebody's already there using it. Yeah, yeah, and like, why didn't you call me? Well, this bloke was in there. Yeah, that's a lot of the excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, yeah, it, I, it, it, so I remember, I remember my nan. She was like first person in the street to get a phone in her house when I was young, and it was one of those old ones that dialed round and went back. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she'd sit there, with, she'd sit there with a stopwatch and count how long you're on the phone and mark it down, so oh, how much you have to pay when the bill come in. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yes, but there we go. There we go. Uh, I I remember telephone boxes with A and B buttons. That's how old I am. So, wow. do you remember them, Stephen? Uh, yes, I remember those too. <laughs> you, you, you used to be able to um, before. Now, with, well, in recent years of phone boxes, you put the money in, then made the call. But originally, it was you made the call, then when they answered, you put the money in it. Yes. Yes. Right. But there we go. I remember uh, a sixpence, six D, uh, jamboree bag. How many people remember a jamboree bag for sixpence? But anyway, let's not bore the younger members uh, of our <laughs> listeners. <laughs> but but it's, it's, all, it's, it's, all, it's, it's all history. history. I will. I, history. Uh, I, what I one thing I will admit to uh, is since the advent of sat nav. Uh, I don't always know where I'm going because I just put the coordinates in and go. I mean, I do have the good fortune. I used to read maps and I do have a general idea of what the layout of the land. So, for example, I know that Ely is near Cambridge right? and that I know that that um, uh, Liverpool isn't really that far from Anglesey. Right? I know what part of the country everything is. But there's some people I do, I do, they have no idea, no idea. Yeah. So so I'm often asked, well, we're doing a job in Hartlepool. Uh, will we be able to get to uh, uh, Brighton the following day in time? 
<laughs> I uh, say, Becky, Becky, I say Becky's yes. saying she can remember jamboree bags, but not yes. sixpence. Ah. She remembers, she remembers the bags, but not the sixpence. The sixpence was uh, about the size of today's five pence coin, I think. It's a tiny. Maybe, yeah. Tiny. Yeah. Tiny. But, um, but, uh, and it, they used to put it in your Christmas pudding. And uh, whoever got the sixpence, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. ended up in it's hospital. It's a wonder we can <laughs> <couldn't laughs> <try laughs> really. Uh, but there we go. Yeah. No, it's, it's all good. No, it's been, we nearly almost come to the end. So no, thanks. 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 But do another hour if you want. <laughs> no, 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 really. Uh, uh, no, no, thanks, thanks. I have another no, podcast thanks. I'm doing at 10 in America. So, ah, ah, uh, nice. busy boy, busy boy. Yeah. yeah it's good, good to be busy. busy. No, no, thanks, thanks for coming on, on this show. So oh, no, it's great. Yeah. And it was lovely to, to meet Steve. So, Stephen. Uh, a, ple yes. a pleasure, Simon. It is yeah. uh, good to be we've got, we've got a. Dot two actor, stroke Harry Potter actor, stroke uh, one foot in the grave actor who's done loads of other acting things as well. Going to be tuning into our show Tuesday as well. Well, I will be <laughs> around. I mean, it's two p.m. Uh, you know. Yeah. It's a. Yeah. It's no, it's, well, well, can, yeah. yeah. If you can send us a link, is there a way of getting back to it? Yeah. Well, yeah. You can watch it anytime. You can watch this yeah. one anytime. I'll send you the link. So Marvelous. You can okay. watch it. Anytime, but if you if you want to be back on the next series, we've we'll got yes. better software, and I won't disappear. Well, um, you know, back. as long as I'm available, <laughs> as long as I'm available, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm more than happy. I thoroughly enjoy these times. Yeah, um, it, was, <laughs> it was it was rather spooky to suddenly realise that people were listening to me when I was there doing my bit all by myself. That that gave me a bit of a. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, there's, there's, there's nothing like live video for, for actually sort of putting you on the spot. Oh, because no, it's, we, it, it's we, okay. Yeah, well, yeah I, I know. I mean, that, I know it wasn't a problem because I was listening, I was trying to get yeah. back on the show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. But yeah. we, we, we know about things happening on live video, but it makes it more fun, it makes it. More down to earth and more. Indeed, it's an open chat. We're not, we're not, we haven't got some top dog telling us how to speak and stuff. So it's all go go, um, down to earth stuff. This, but that's the end of the series now. That's the end of it. Oh well, bye bye series, and uh, look forward yeah. to the new series. And uh, yeah. uh, uh, and I'll, that'd be like, I'll well, speak to you again Becky's very saying, soon. Becky, okay. Yeah. What Becky, was Becky Becky's saying? Becky's saying you did fine in your solo bit. <laughs> you passed the audition. I passed the, it's good to I know. I passed the audition. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, dear. I'll speak to you soon, Simon. Thanks for okay. being part of the show. Yeah, thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye, Simon. Nice to meet you. Bye. All right. Okay. Sorry yes, about that. Yeah. I'm going to own up now. Uh, Sunday is the day that I cook dinner. Oh, right. Yeah. So you have to go and check your dinner. So I went, to, I went to put the roast potatoes in, which is an integral part of any Sunday evening meal, and uh, I couldn't get back on. Yeah, no, I, I completely went, because I tried to get you down on the screen to take you down, and then my whole thing crashed. It just went froze, everything froze, so I had to reset from the beginning. But, hey, I, Cambridge Historian Live, for about six and a half minutes, was presented by <laughs> Simon Fisher Becker. So you can't go wrong, can you? No, you can't script that. You can't script no. it at all. And uh, no. I was I was I was sat there listening and uh, it was a pleasure to to watch and to be involved Please, in the show. You. Thank you for inviting me, Fonz. No, no, no thanks. Thanks for being a part of it. And that's the end. This is the last time everybody that I use Studio One. Um, it's the end of Studio One for me, and when I come back, it'll be Studio Two, and we can both guarantee it's going to be one hell of a ride, and it's so much better what you can do with it. It is, it is. And Look forward to yeah. it. Definitely. No, but thanks for coming on. Get your Sunday roast now. Carrots have got to go in next, so I've got to go now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> take care. <laughs> right. See, See you, you later. Yeah, thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, and, uh, thanks to, thanks to Steve also for being a part of the show. Um, yeah. We're going to get all these bits sorted for the next series, technical faults, um, what's happening, but it makes it fun, enjoy it, and you're, you're all.
It was still tuned in, me and Harder Show. I'm not sure what happened to Jason, he disappeared as well. Um, but it's been a great two hours, it's gone quite quick. And great to have guests on that I did. And of course, we will be back um, in October time with Series 4 with a completely new look. And I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank everybody who sent messages and was a part of the show. And well, if you want to send me an email, maybe you want to appear on the show, uh, you can. I'll go to info at And of course, the theme tune, which was by Jason Bruce, you can find that at jasonbruce.com and look for Cambridge Historian theme tune. It's only, it's only 99p, it's, it's a bargain. And check out our website at cambridgehistorian.co.uk. Becky's saying bye for now, yes, uh, bye and thanks for being a part of the show. And hopefully, hopefully when we come back, Becky, um, no more Darby sounds. But that was quite funny you saying that because we had Simon Fisher Beck on, who was in Doctor Who. And hey, the show was presented for six minutes by Simon Fisher Beck, so you, you, you can't go wrong there. But until the next series, everybody, please, please do take care and thank you for being a part of this show.